Metron has perished, betrayed by his foolish pride. I, Starscream, am your leader now! TF Review 16 coming at you with another Transformers video review. I have here Transformers Generation Fall of Cybertron Starscream. So awesome packaging. Um, I love the G1 style of packaging with the uh, grid in the background, the laser grid in the background. Right here you have Starscream himself in the package and we're going to take a look at him along with some of his other Fall of Cybertron counterparts. Um, so you have Transformation Level 2, Ages 5 Plus, Hasbro. You got awesome Decepticon writing here on the side. Here's half the logo. Uh, series 1, uh, number 010. This is part of the second wave of the Fall of Cybertron Deluxe figures. Um, on the back here, <clears throat> you got the awesome G1 style tech specs, uh, strength, intelligence, speed, endurance, rank, courage, fire blast, so very cool, I love this style of packaging. Um, here you have uh, spinning assault cannons, which look, resemble the gear shredder um, from, the, uh, from the game, then you have the Cybertronian jet mode, and uh, the nice bio. There was a time when Starscream was an honorable soldier who fought for the defense of Cybertron, but long isolation aboard an orbital platform made him greedy and ambitious. Given the opportunity to once again lead troops, he gladly joined Megatron. Transformers Generations up here. Great product art here. Um, we'll get more into this when we get them out of package, but uh, definitely excited to bring you a video review of the Generations Fall of Cybertron. Starscream. Here is Deluxe Starscream Fall of Cybertron out of the package in his Cybertronian jet fighter mode. And this is a awesome representation of a Cybertronian fighter jet mode. Starscream. So as far as overall design, I really, really am digging how this looks. Um, I especially like how they incorporated this triangle design into it. If you remember the uh, intro for the Generations 1, actually the first episode, um, and they're, when they're on Cybertron and you see the Seekers come in, well, they're these triangular um, formation type of ships uh, that are uh, Cybertronian. So they really um, outdid themselves as far as design on this to... Um, to incorporate that G1 style of uh, appearance um, in both robot mode and the Cybertronian version of um, the fighter jet mode. So very, very cool design, um, really nice paint applications and great details. Um, the uh, gear shredder gun separates into two and uh, attaches to the underside of his wings. Uh, these turrets spin. There, this according to the the instructions, this is the way that they have them attached to the wing. Um, there are obviously lots of options in doing so. Um, there's two pegs here, so you could also have it this way and attach it and plug it into there. Um, again, I really like how this looks uh, with the Gatling guns underneath it. Um, so very cool, very great details here in the cockpit too. You can even see there's a seat. Get in on that. So you can see that it's clear, see-through. Um, it doesn't open, but uh, you can see a seat there. So very cool. Um, got some nice uh, light detailing up here. Again, I love the triangle fin on the top. That just really screams uh, Cybertronian. Um, generation one uh, design so I love that um, awesome purple Decepticon um, logos on the wings <clears throat> excuse me they look really awesome with the uh, with the red color in the wings so um, really good paint details um, on the back here uh, you got the, the thrusters here so very cool um, Great mold, uh, definitely am digging this a lot. 
So uh, to do a size comparison, again, this is the um, you know the a generation generations uh, fall of Cybertron. Uh, the entire line, deluxe line, really kind of shrunk down. Uh, but here he is with uh, Shockwave. So really, really cool. These guys look really awesome together. Um, uh, he doesn't have any landing gear, notice, so he just kind of sits there. Uh, but he does look uh, really cool. Uh, and Shockwave doesn't either, so he just sits more flat. Um, but you'll have to check out my video review of Fall of Cybertron Shockwave also coming soon. Uh, there's some options uh, on that for uh, for making your own type of landing gear. Um, so yeah, again, no landing gear. Um, not a lot of robot kibble. You can see the back of his head here folds up. So that's kind of one thing. Um, and there's some hollowness in in uh, his robot mode. And you can see here it, it you can see through the the mode uh, the uh, jet mode too. So um, that could have been covered up. They should have had a panel here that folds over. Folds over. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up doing a Voyager version. I haven't heard anything about that, but um, to get more detail um, into it. But uh, there he is. There's uh, the vehicle mode. So let's get into transformation. All right, transforming Starscream. So the first thing you want to do is uh, remove the weapons, the Gatling guns. So... Just remove those from the underside of his wings. Um, and the guns themselves, um, they connect together. So what I like to do is I like to line up these first so they're nice and straight and even. And then you can connect those together. And then uh, they spin together as well. So that's a pretty cool uh, feature. Although in robot mode, I tend to keep these weapons split apart anyway. So, but I just wanted to show that off. Um, so, transformation, um, you can start off here on the back legs. So, you want to um, detach the back legs, which they tab into here and here. So, then you can fold the, the nose cone in right there and um, bring this part all the way down. And it will tab into place uh, right there. You can flip his uh, toes out like so, and um, there you have his feet done. So fairly simple and fast transformation, uh, very cool uh, mold of his legs. Uh, so then what you want to do is bring this part down, well you want to come to the back here, and uh, his arms fold up into here and they're tabbed together. So you split those and uh, you can bring those out. So bring those all the way out like so. And there you can see his head in there. Um, then you tilt this back like so and you flip his head. Flip his head up like so and then turn his head around. So there you have his head. Um, then you want to bring this section up like so. And then this back section will tab right into the slot right in the back. So there you have his back. Um, then to bring his arms around. And uh, his arms are kind of double jointed right here and part of the, as part of the transformation to get him to fold up nice. So make sure those arms are in the right position. Um, and uh, fold those around. And then push those back. Um, and you have Starscream in his fierce robot mode. He looks incredible. I give this guy extremely high points for uh, robot mode and design. Uh, just love the way he looks. Uh, very CGI accurate. Um, and when you're, the gameplay for Starscream is mostly in the back. So you'll notice a few different rings on the CGI character. Um, are back more, they're closer together, and you can see more of his shoulders, and his shoulders have um, taller wings on them. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's really uh, accurate to uh, his the character in the game. 
and the details and the design of this figure is just absolutely awesome. I really love it, digging this guy a lot. Um, so then you have, so here's his uh, robot mode, and you have um, the Gatling guns, which uh, look really good if you attach them to his arms. Um, two, you saw some of the intro shots on the video. Um, how I had him posed with those. But so there you can have him. Uh, these uh, his Gatling guns attached to his arms this way he can hold them uh, I'll let you want to pick which one you want to hold it. Uh, I'll put it this one if he's facing this way so then he can hold it as well although he did yeah there is some, the way that his arms are articulated, uh, this isn't as conducive to a good look, but uh, definitely can, can hold it as well. Um, they have been really good. <laughs> there he goes, down goes Starscreen. No, but very, very cool weapons. Uh, but man, nothing beats this uh, robot mode. I just love the way that Starscream looks. Um, so you can see he's got, I'll get in some detail here, he's got amazing light piping, and I just love the head sculpt here, really nice paint, and the head sculpt is just really incredible. I like the uh, pink accent lights in here to give the effect of um, the, the lights, um, I really love uh, the sculpt in general, just all the details on it, um, and I love the, the parts of the silhouette, the, the design silhouette of it, just very, very Starscream, um, love the back, uh, not, a, not any robot kibble really at all, uh, my only complaint is, you know, the hollowness, you can see this backpack here is all pretty much hollow, which also, um, gives way for a lot of custom ideas. I mean, you could put a whole battery pack in there with lights and sounds. I don't know how it would affect the uh, transformation, but uh, very awesome. Robot mode, good transformation. Um, stands well. In terms of articulation, uh, there is a pivot on his foot here, on his leg, and uh, his toe moves in and out and actually extends up for some really dynamic poses. You can really get him in a good lunge pose and uh, these um, toes provide really good stability for that. So really, really good uh, articulation. Uh, I love on the leg, on the leg design here. Um, I love these pieces on the side here. I'm trying to get a focus in here. Sorry about that. There we go. Um, so I love the design here of, of the legs, and I love the colors with the gray, red, and blue, just really awesome. Um, so he has uh, the knee articulation as well, uh, hip movement here in and out. This is, it rotates all the way around. You can see the type of pin joint it is here, so that could easily pop off, um, but it would also easily pop back in. You just need to make sure it stays tight. So very cool. Um, design overall. Uh, he's got the full articulation here. This will, tends to pop out when you're moving him around and posing him, but uh, he has full um, full shoulder, arm pivot, and uh, he's got these curler arms too, so if he is holding the gun, you can't really, yeah, you can get a good extension on there. So yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, really good articulation. His head articulation is a little bit uh, limited. Um, he can it goes uh, well 360 around, it rotates part of the transformation, but uh, it doesn't go look up or down. It's not on a ball joint. You can see there, it's that's part of the transformation too. So, but just awesome head sculpt. So I, I mean, I I really give this guy a lot of points as far as the design. Uh, the transformation is really fun, and um, yeah, I definitely highly recommend this figure. Starscream, Fall of Cybertron, 
And uh, for a size comparison, here he is with Shockwave. Shockwave just knocked him over there with his enormous cannon. Um, and again, here's the, the, the pose ability, and I have him kind of in a lunge pose right now, and I'm using uh, the weight on his um, toes. But uh, he does, he is very stable, he stands very well, he just straighten his legs out more. So, um, yeah, I just had him kind of um, set up that way, and so that's why he, he, he can fall over easy, but uh, he does, does stand really well. And there goes Shockwave, geez, let's knock everyone over. Um, so here he is with Shockwave. So check out my uh, video review of Deluxe Sci Fall Cybertron Shockwave coming soon too. But thanks you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I got a lot more reviews to do. I've uh, been a little bit of a hiatus, but we're back now and hope you enjoyed uh, this video review. Until next time, keep collecting. Together we'll cross the road.